Yeah, I'm still here. You have the visitor's log for John Doe, Christian Vega? Really? Evangeline Williamson. Thanks, Warden. such a mess. I was looking for a DNA report. Turns out I should just ask you. I know you're building up to saying something, so I don't know. Maybe you should start with, uh, well, why your sister tossed my place. You son of a bitch. Let's get a few things straight. I don't need anybody locked up to be with somebody. And I never used you for anything. You are with Natalie, aren't you? Yeah, she's still a married woman, John. And thanks to you, she has no idea that her husband is alive. That's the way he wants it. His choice, because he doesn't have any real opportunity to be with her. His words. That's, that's a convenient way of thinking. Here's the thing, I don't think about it. It's not my call. And frankly, this has nothing to do with you. Oh, it doesn't? I was the one comforting you. I was the one sleeping with you. I was the one loving you, and I'm the one that helped you get that DNA sample. I was standing in the courtroom when you got the results back, and when you found out that John Doe was really Christian Vega, you kept that little nugget of information to yourself because you were trying to figure out a way to move from me to Natalie. You don't honestly believe that, do you? And if my memory serves correct, you ended it with me. You ended it with me. One of the many things you seem to have wrong here. No. No, I finally have it right. This was that moral dilemma that kept coming between us, right? The one that kept you up at night? The one you couldn't talk to me about because it involved a case? My God, I was so stupid. No, you weren't. <sighs> what I felt for you was so real. You played me, John. You totally played me, and I let you because I was so in love with you. I thought you were the finest person I ever met in my life. And I knew I didn't deserve that. I didn't deserve you. Could you not? Could you not do that anymore? The breast-beating thing, the you're too good for me, baby, because I know why you do it now. You do it because you want me to back away. That's the last thing I wanted. No more lies, John. You can't honestly think that stealing Christian's life was the right thing to do. I don't know it. I don't play God. I do know it was Christian's decision. Enough. This has nothing to do with Christian. This is about you. I tried not to see it. I wanted to believe in you, but I can't pretend anymore. What you and I had, it was never real. And everything in our so-called relationship was based on your lies. We both know I deserve whatever you want to throw at me. A grenade would be too good. Fine. Let's think about Natalie for a second. You are unbelievable. You're mad at me? You want to hurt me, okay. But you could blow her life right out of the water. Okay. I get that Natalie's in a really bad place. The two men that she loves entered into a conspiracy to keep the truth from her. They both knew what was best for her, and they didn't need her input to make life-altering decisions about her future. You saw Chris, right? I can imagine you asked him the same questions I did. Did you get the same answers? That's not the point, John. No, the point is he made a decision. He made a very difficult decision. That decision was he didn't want the people who love him to know he is rotting away in a cell. He wants them to believe he is dead rather than them knowing that the man that they love became a cold-blooded killer. You're leaving out a couple of salient points. Oh, don't throw that lawyer crap at me. All right? He made a decision. He asked me to respect it, and I have. Well, congratulations. Because covering up the truth worked out awfully well for you. 
And now you're right where I was. You know the truth. And you can either do what Chris wants, or you can blow half a dozen lives right out of the water. So that's what this is about now. What am I going to do? I see that you're unhappy, and I know that I did that. I'm not telling you why I did what I did because I'm trying to excuse it only that you're facing the same decision. You did what you thought was right. Yes. No ulterior motives. So don't do this because you're trying to get back at me. What you mean to say is, don't tell Natalie, right? You asked me to think about her? Well, I have. And I know what I would want if I was in her shoes. So after all that I've said, you're still going to tell her? Watch me. I promised Christian I would do what was right. Against his own wishes. He has the right to change his mind. He killed a man. He's not getting out of prison. All you're doing is drawing attention to a no-win situation. It's only a no-win situation because no one knows. Natalie has a right to know the truth, even if it hurts. And this life you have planned for her... Maybe she deserves better than that. You mean better than me? Don't tell me you're looking out for Natalie. Somebody has to. Fine. Go ahead, I don't care. Tell Natalie everything. Tell me what? Tell me what, John. 